Governor Gavin Newsom is wrapping up a four-day tour of the state in San Diego today. That's right. He highlighted the need to address mental illness and addiction in California. Here's a closer look at his trip and what he had to say. I'm thrilled to welcome Governor Gavin Newsom. <laughs> Governor Gavin Newsom making a final stop in San Diego on his statewide tour. At Alvarado Hospital Medical Center, Newsom proposing a 2024 ballot initiative to authorize funding to house and treat those dealing with mental illness and substance use, a problem that continues to persist in California. It's unacceptable what we're dealing with at scale now in the state of California, not only in terms of what's happening on the streets and sidewalks, but uh, those that are suffering alone, we have to address and come to grips with the reality of mental health in this state. The proposal would help build housing facilities where more than 10,000 people could be treated per year. We can fix this. The governor's office says the facilities would have services directly on site. People's lives can be changed. I'm, forget the cynics out there that say this is too big, we'll never figure it out. We can't save all these folks. That's not true. The initiative also aims to provide more funding for housing homeless veterans and expand the Mental Health Services Act to provide at least $1 billion per year for housing people with mental health and substance use disorders. Put that money towards the tent encampments and get people off the streets who are the sickest of the sick. Sunday's visit to San Diego is one of four stops along the tour of California. Newsom opting out of giving a typical state of the state this year for the tour. The governor also made stops in Sacramento, the Bay Area, and Southern California, addressing ways to reduce homelessness, improve public safety, and reduce health care costs. Saturday, Newsom announcing a contract aimed at bringing down the price of insulin. The administration plans to work with legislative leaders, local government, and community organizations to further develop the proposal addressing mental health and substance use disorders.